Welcome, or oh, rather, welcome back if you're a graduating student. It's uh, wonderful to see you all here on this, our last graduation ceremony of 2015. My name's Paul Webley, uh, I'm the director of SIAS, and I've been an academic now for 36 years, and I've attended dozens of degree ceremonies. But they still bring a lump to my throat and tears to my eyes. And that's particularly true today, as this is the very last SIAS graduation ceremony that I'll introduce. It's a really great experience to stand here and see the Logan Hall shimmering with pride. It's shimmering over here. <laughs> I've been a parent of a graduating student twice, last time as in 2007, and I can still remember every detail of the ceremonies. Degree ceremonies really are one of life's defining moments, and I frankly really didn't understand graduation until I was a parent. So whilst I've been to dozens of degree ceremonies, um, I'm ashamed to say I didn't go to either of my own. And my mother has never forgiven me. <laughs> so a huge thanks to this side of the hall, from this side of the hall, <laughs> for attending. Your parents and family are so pleased that you've come. Thank you so much. And I'm delighted that we can share this special day with family members and friends of graduating students across the world who are unable to make it today. The ceremony is being streamed live on the internet, so do wave at the camera, because it will certainly be looking at you now, OK? Uh, it will be, but don't pull any funny faces uh, later on, because the camera might be on you, so bear that in mind. It's a privilege to introduce you to, to the president of SIAS, Grasher Michelle, as many of you will know, Grasser is an extremely distinguished figure on the world stage. She's been at the heart of national and international politics for decades. She was, for example, the first Minister of Education and Culture of independent Mozambique. Her tireless work as an advocate for the rights of women and children and in the fight against poverty, illiteracy and injustice has driven social and political change on a huge scale. She's gained international respect and a huge number of international awards for her humanitarian work. She was made a British Dame in 1997. And most appropriately for SIAS, she speaks seven languages. She's a powerful voice, a person who's looked to for leadership on great questions in Africa and beyond. Grasser is the perfect president for SIAS. And we're really fortunate to have as our president someone who embodies our values and who, like our students and staff, wants to change the world as well as understand it. So Grasser, I invite you to address the gathering.